What made LEGO Technic so special? It is one of their best-selling LEGO themes, even outperforming LEGO City. I'm on Brook Me and today I'm gonna answer why LEGO Technic is so beloved by all fans around the world. I have defined three key things that set apart LEGO Technic from every other theme. Let's start with the first one. The first thing that makes LEGO Technic so special are the mechanisms. The mechanisms that LEGO Technic sets use are absolutely incredible. For one, they have brilliantly engineered gearboxes and they have been around since the very beginning of LEGO Technic. In 1977 with the LEGO Technic car chassis, we actually got a speed transmission gearbox in that set, even though it did not have any driving rings or really a special mechanism. It just had one sliding axle that would engage into different gears, resulting in different gear ratios. The speed transmission gearbox in LEGO Technic has become very iconic. When the driving ring was first introduced for LEGO Technic gearboxes, the speed transmission became much more smooth and much more reliable. Right now, the most advanced LEGO Technic transmission is the 8-speed sequential transmission found in the Lamborghini Scion FKP3740115. It essentially uses two gearboxes, but in one. One of these is a sequential 4-speed transmission, while the other one is a multiplier gearbox. When the multiplier engages, those initial 4 speeds become speeds 5, 6, 7, and 8. In 2020, we actually got our very first fully motorized, remotely controlled speed transmission gearbox and the 6x6 Volvo articulated hauler. But there is actually two more kinds of different LEGO Technic gearboxes. You have the basic function switching gearbox, which was actually used in the legendary LEGO Technic Space Shuttle set, and the second type of gearbox, the multi-directional gearbox, is sort of like an improvement of the basic function switching gearbox. In 2015, with the LEGO Technic Crawler Crane set, we actually got our very first multi-directional gearbox in a LEGO Technic set. You would have one motor driving the gears on either end of the driving ring, and these gears would spin in different directions. So whenever you engage the driving ring into this position, the driving ring would spin in one direction, and whenever you engaged it into the other gear, the driving ring would spin in the other direction. As part of LEGO Technic mechanisms, we also had the pneumatic system. The pneumatic system was first introduced in 1984, but the very first LEGO Technic set to sort of take pneumatics to another level was the AirTech Claw Rig released in 1992. It had a 9 volt motor pumping a constant airflow, and you could control the different functions of the crane using the pneumatic valves. This was absolutely incredible, and the AirTech Claw of 1992 is actually on par with some modern pneumatic sets like the Mercedes-Benz Unimog U400 or even the LEGO Technic Mercedes-Benz Aurox. And speaking of the Mercedes-Benz Aurox, this is actually the set that introduced the pneumatics 2.0 system. With the pneumatics 2.0 system, the main advantage you got was that you had longer pneumatic actuators for better control of all your different LEGO Technic sets. We also got many simple LEGO Technic mechanisms such as steering, linear actuators, the fake piston engine, and the differential. If you're enjoying this video so far, then make sure to subscribe to my channel so that way you can learn all about LEGO Technic. The next main point of why LEGO Technic is so special is actually the building system itself, known as LEGO Technic. Now this might sound confusing, but in LEGO there's actually multiple different building systems. We have the Duplo system, the LEGO system based construction, the LEGO Bionicle based construction, character construction building system which was introduced in the LEGO Hero Factory theme. LEGO Technic uses a combination of axles, uh, pins, gears, uh, beams, and so much more pieces that are clearly different from LEGO System. The LEGO Technic building system is actually perfectly compatible with LEGO System. This is why it is used in many cases together with LEGO System sets. For example, in the LEGO Star Wars UCS Star Destroyer, we actually got a ton of LEGO Technic pieces which were used for structural integrity of the whole Star Destroyer. LEGO Technic is actually used in many system sets to achieve greater functionality. For example, this Power Miner's Crystal Sweeper actually uses a combination of gears to achieve the sweeping motion. This building system also offered an insane variation of all the different pieces and it provided much more opportunities than other similar construction building systems. For example, Thames and Cosmos, which is very similar to LEGO Technic and it's something that I used to play with before I started playing with LEGO. The third main reason why LEGO Technic is so special is actually the integration of electronics. With LEGO Technic, you can not only build whatever you want using some insane mechanisms, but you can and also motorize them and have them be fully remotely controlled with various LEGO electronic systems. 
Back in the 1970s, we used to have the 4.5 volt system. In the 1990s, we had the 9 volt system. Uh, starting from 2007, we got the power function system. And in 2019, we got the powered up system for the first time ever in a Lego Technic set. These electronic systems were used in a variety of different ways. For one, you could have your Lego set be fully remotely controlled with the power function system. Or you could also have like one motor and one basic battery box. You connect the motor to a gearbox and using the gearbox, you can switch all the different functions using just one motor. That is pretty incredible. All of the electronic systems that LEGO has released are actually fully customizable. For example, the power function system had stackable cables and you could connect an insane amount of electronics to just one battery box and configure them uh, in different ways. You could have two different receivers connected to a battery box and have three motors connected to one end of the receiver. It was just super awesome. The power function system and the 9 volt system were actually compatible with each other, perfectly compatible. And while the powered up system is not compatible with the previous power function system, in the powered up system, you can actually create your own custom controllers in the powered up app. So all of these systems are really awesome. The way LEGO integrates electronics into their construction sets, construction building kits, is much better than most competitors. Most other competitors simply don't offer the same level of customization that LEGO does. And for LEGO Electronics, there is actually also a ton of third-party options. For example, for the power function system, we got buoys, which not only offered Bluetooth capabilities for the power function system, but it also allowed a higher voltage output to the motors, so you could have your LEGO sets running at much faster speeds. And if you want to learn more about the difference between power functions and powered up, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbrick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.